Welcome back guys, this is DK Priori and I am going to showcase my first Dark Souls 3 build. And it's not actually the first build that I did, but it's the first one that I'll be taking a, an in-depth look into because it is perhaps my favourite build. It absolutely destroys PvE and it's not too bad in PvP either. So, without further ado, this is Marxus. And Marxus is a paladin. He's a melee based uh, build. All his damage is melee output, but he's based around miracles. And as you can see, I'm dual wielding here, but that is only for one purpose, and I'll go into that in a moment. So, first, let's take a look. At our equipment loadout. So right here we've got the heavy infused Dragon Slayer's Axe, fully upgraded, uh, and that's because I'm running this build with 40 strength. That's right, 40 strength, because this originally started out as a uh, strength build. It's a strength faith hybrid, really, um, and some of the heavier weapons I'm using. Um, require a higher strength uh, investment this isn't one of them this only requires 18 in strength and 14 in dex uh, it has C scaling in strength thanks to the, the heavy infusion so that's giving me an extra 90 physical damage uh, I've also got the sunlight straight sword I don't really use this for any damage output um, even though the the scaling's quite good, it's a 12-12 strength uh, attribute requirement, um, and it's DD in both. So it, you know it'd be good for quality. I'm not really running quality here. I'm also using Yorshka's Chime plus 10, uh, and this is for primarily for buffs. In fact, it's only for buffs. I do not use any offensive miracles on this build. Uh, as for the fashion. I think I've got this guy looking quite fucking good, if I do say so myself. Uh, I'm running the Sunset Armor, uh, which you get, if I remember rightly, it's been a while since I've done this, but you get the Sunset Armor uh, from running through uh, Ceres, Ceres or whatever she's called, Ceres of the Sunless Realms, her granddaddy has this armor. I'm running the Fallen Knight Gauntlets because they're the, you know, they look pretty good with the fashion and the Sunset Leggings. So sun, uh, Sunset Leggings, Sunset Armor, Fallen Knight Gauntlets. I think I primarily went with those because it kept my weight ratio down low. Uh, as for rings, I'm using Clorinthy Plus One. I have been through New Game Plus One with this build, as you can see, because I'm carrying uh, an absurd amount of souls on me right now. So I've been through New Game Plus with this, uh, Clorinthy Ring plus one, Hornet Ring for that boost the critical, uh, Prisoner's Chain for um, all around stat boosts, uh, yeah I've definitely been through New Game Plus with this, so yeah, uh, all around boost there, and Havel's Ring plus one for the, uh, the weight ratio increase. Now, as you can see, my axe is currently doing 495 in damage and if I just give you a quick test our ones because it's a one-handed axe it swings reap fast it's a fucking fast axe let me tell you now what should I do here not that we two-hand the uh, the sunlight blade, uh, the sunlight straight sword. My bad. We two hand this bitch. Its weapon art gives us a nice boost. We switch. Infuse. Deep protection. Do it in that order. Don't do deep protection before the sword. And now, check out that damage. 784. So if we go through my favourite gauntlet in the game. Ow! 
absolutely shreds. This is, I think this is New Game Plus 2. And I'm just tearing through these assholes, one shotting these bitches. See this? You see? Oh shit, I took an arrow to the face. So what? You. Fuck that shield. Smash. Got a knight already. Am I worried? Not really. Because. I just fucking swung on him. And yeah, he almost killed me. But you know what? The, the speed. This thing basically swings at, I mean the buffs are down now so it's not going to be as good, but this thing swings Let's just refill and redo our buffs. This axe swings at a great speed. But also hits like a heavy greatsword, and that, or a, or a great axe, and that is the strength of this weapon. It swings so fucking fast. He's dead. He's 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 not. Yeah, he's dead. Great so guys come for some. But do you see what I mean? This fucking guy, he swings so fast. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. I'm getting too cocky. Or sloppy. He's gonna hit. He hits fucking hard. Not a joke. Jumping attack. Back off. Oh my god, this guy fucking hits. Get that space in. Get that space in, DK. And fucking Christ. Jesus. Fuck you. What are you swinging at, douchebag? But as you can see. Oh wow, what? Oh wow, a Lothric Knight greatsword. That has never dropped for me before. Cool. Not with this build anyway, that's never dropped for me. What the fuck? Okay. So yeah. That is the power of this build. Now if I go show you what else I can do with this bitch. Because basically, this weapon needs no introduction. This is the Dragon Slayer Grey Axe. And this is the other feature of this build. If I'm, you know, not feeling um, like buffing and all that sort of stuff, then I'm going to switch to this. And I'm, this is why the strength is at 40. Try and do this on four Estus. It's been a while since I've I've run this bitch ass gauntlet, but I'm gonna do it. So lure these guys down. This is how I normally do it. This is uh, he's stuck there. Sometimes this works, sometimes not so good. Oh, he's coming for my ass. Poise. We got a bit of poise. The rare beast that is poise. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Shoulder check me. He's going to spin to win. But he's not going to win. He eats shit. Okay. Ah, what a bitch. Oh my god. Tr 
trust it to be my YouTube debut that this motherfucker starts making me look like a right punk. Once he drops a chunk, nice. So. Wait till that guy goes around. We're going to play this a bit stealthy. Wait till that guy goes. Wait till that guy goes. Wait. And now backstab this. Oh, what the fuck? Shitting hell. And now. Unleash the weapon or I poised him. And ah. Smash. Smash. Oh yeah, I'm out of FP. That's okay though. We can chain backstab these bros. These chunky boys will chain backstab him. And so, as you can see, this build is fucking savage. Okay, so we're gonna go and take out a boss now. And as you can see, we are at the kiln of the first flame, baby. And we're gonna take out Soul of Cinder. Because I thought, what better way to top off this first YouTube Dark Souls 3 build video done by fighting the final boss. Now I am on New Game Plus 2, I think, with this build. So, you know, this, he's going to hit hard, but we're going to try and hit harder. So remember, first you two-hand the, uh, the Sunlight Straight Sword, use the weapon art to buff your miracles, Go in with deep protection. Go in with lightning blade. Mm. Two hand this bitch. Let's do it. See that? He didn't even get to do any of his shit. We fucked him up before he got to transform. Now I'm going to switch it up to Dragon Slayer Great Axe. Mm, he's, he's got us. He's got us. Fuck. Oh, damn. He's getting spicy. Sunlight Spear is coming at us. He's angry now, we pissed him off. We embarrassed this first phase. So, we better be on our guard. Need that ground pound. Trying to grab us. Oof. He's hitting us. He's getting some swines in. Let's back up. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Alright, alright. Ah, oh, you. Mess with that ground. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, now's our chance. We heal. Six Estus left. He's down, baby. He is down. And that is Marxist. In a nutshell. I've been DK Priori. 
Lord of Cinder has fallen and we are out. Peace. <laughs>